Hello everyone, Joanne with StampingInTheValley.com and welcome to my craft room. I just wanted to get on here and do a really fast little video about our new ink colors. Now there is one missing, I think they're having trouble with the, um, the ink pad. Um, and it is purple posy. I can't wait to get that. I love purples. Um, so well, I'll see whenever that comes back in and I will go ahead and purchase that. But I want to talk to you about this ink. When you get a new ink pad, of course you unwrap it. It comes with like a cellophane on it. Then on the back here, it says the name of it and you have a few different um, uh, languages and then you have a blank space here. Let me show you what you do with these. I take my little tool here and I just pick this up. Like that. All right. Now on this end where the little lip is, where you're going where the Stampin' Up logo is, this is where this goes. At least this is where I put mine. Maybe some people put it on the back side here, but I like it by my logo. So you put this down here and it tells you what you've got. Then go ahead and open it. Well first, wait a minute, before you open it, <laughs> um, go ahead and take the one off of the bottom there that is just the color. Then open your ink pad and right here there's a little trough right there and take this color and place it in there and let it stick. Oop. Try to get it straight I just kind of let it fall into that little space right there. There we go. And it just will straighten right out, usually. <laughs> if I'm not on camera and behind the camera, right? It usually just falls right into place, I promise you. So there we go. It's still crooked. Oh my goodness, guys. And this is the only one I've got to do this with, so hang in there with me. As you can see, I'm picking it back up. I'm getting my fingers a little inky, but I put all the other ones on with no problem. It's just because I'm behind the camera. All right, we got, we've got that. Let me get my chamois. is also good because it's wet to get ink off your fingers. So that's how you put the color on the inside. This way then when you use it and you push this like this, you know what you have when your ink pad is up. You know what it is. Now, I just wanted to see. I want to open all of these up. I just wanted to show you that. But I want to open all these up and let's see what these colors look like on some Whisper White. See, I've already done my Roco of Rose, Pretty Peacock. I've got to get used to all these names again. Terracotta Tile. <clears throat> so I just pulled out this flower from, um, what is this, Pop of Petals. And I just want to go into these colors and let's see what the... Oh, isn't that pretty? That is the Seaside Spray, isn't it? Okay, Seaside Spray. That's beautiful, look at this. There is a very pretty color, very, very pretty. All right, now let's go, let me clean this on my chamois. And now we're gonna go into Rococo Rose. Another beautiful color. Oh, those two together are so pretty. Hmm. Uh, this is the first I'm seeing. This is the first I'm doing this. I didn't do this before at all. So this, you're getting my absolute impression of these colors here. Oh, look at how that is deep. That's a deep color. I bet that would look great stamped off. Let's do that. Yes. Look at those two variations of... Terracotta tile? No, pretty peacock. Pretty peacock. Two variations, the first generation and then the second generation. These will look beautiful also, I'm sure. But that is a very, it's like a bluish green, and I really love the second generation of it. Now we'll go into the terracotta tile. And let's just give that that second generation right there. Ah, oh, isn't that pretty? Both of those are beautiful. Let me do that over here. Let's just see what these guys. Well, I didn't do. I didn't even think. I, I wasn't even thinking about it. Let's do the seaside spray. First generation, second generation. 
like the first generation better. That's a little bit on the light side. Let's see what the Rococo Rose looks like also. We'll stamp in that. Let me get up in the camera here. And here's one and two. Very pretty. Actually though, the two, those, those lighter generations are very, very pretty together. I can see that. So that's one and two right there, one and two right here, one and two here, and one and two there. Ah, I love it. These are our new in colors that you guys are going to be able to order come June 1st. Remember, if you are a customer of mine, your, uh, for the past year, your catalog, I'll show you the front of it. I'm not allowed to open it. Your catalog here, isn't that pretty? will be coming to you for free. It's bulk mailed by Stampin' Up! for me. Um, and so it's just wonderful. And you guys will get it. Any of my new customers, I am ordering the catalogs and I will be sending them out to you and they will go priority mail to you guys. I'm also having a special that if you are a new customer of mine this month, you will get five sheets of the Gingham Gala paper that is retiring, um, along with an annual catalog and occasions catalog, which these two catalogs, they've got a lot of retiring products in it. So if you wanted to get your, you know, discounted items in uh, on an order, now would be the time. But I will send you those, and then I will also, when, um, it, uh, when I get them in, I will send you a new catalog. So those are for brand new customers. They get the, the five sheets of Gingham Gala one of each color that's in that collection. So um, thanks again for watching and just popping in here with me. I just had to see what these colors look like on Whisper White and I wanted to share it with you guys. Thanks again for watching. Happy crafting!